Hey, what's going on? TLC is your boy PT coming at you with the word of the week. You know how many of you guys are over 2020? Yep, me too. But it's not even over yet, so we still got a lot to do and a lot of growing uh, in store for us. So thank the Lord for that. that he, see, he saw fit to uh, challenge us this year here at this place. Hey guys, um, there's a lot of conversations going on out there. A lot of uh, talks, a lot of information is being passed on and as a pastor, my heart is to make sure that I teach you and teach myself, and this, is, and this message is really for the church, guys. It's not for anyone else. It's, I want to share with you guys, and I really want to show you how to bring the gospel to bear into this conversation. And that's, that's the most important thing, is how to bring the gospel to bear into this conversation as we're dealing with it. Because ultimately, what I, what I hope and what I pray for is that your words and your talks, as you guys are communicating as you guys are living it out there that it is full of salt and light not brokenness and division and fights so how do we bring the gospel to bear arms into that um i realized that a word of the week cannot possibly cover all of it i only got five minutes if i spoke any longer y'all check out so i'm going to preach on it on this sunday so if you guys want to tune into that at 12 30 i will uh, share a little bit about how the Gospels can speak into this conversation, hopefully a little bit more, uh, with a little bit more articulation than um, before. But today, um, really all I want to do is, before we even get to that point, I want to share with you guys three prayer requests. And that's all I want to share with you guys today. It's three things to pray about, three things to earnestly pray about as we're going through uh, times like this and, and, and conversations like this. Okay, the first thing I want you guys to pray for is pray against the spirit of self righteousness. Not the spirit of self righteousness from the other player, but the spirit of self righteousness from yourself. Self righteousness is the idea of in my rightness, I place myself above you. In my more informed mind, I place myself as superior to you. We may not be explicit about it um, or even conscious about it, but the spirit of self-righteousness, it moves within our hearts. And so the one thing I want you guys to begin this journey, at least earnestly, is to pray against that. Pray against the spirit of self-righteousness that can seep into the heart of a believer. Right? In, our, in our search for truth, in our search for justice, it's easy to allow for that to come in. And so we really have a, um, a heart check, a policing of your own spirit, and see it. Did it. Can it be that in my rightness, I have placed others below me? Or that I have seen others as less than me? And myself as superior, at least in intellect, or in the information I know. So pray against the spirit of self-righteousness. That's the first one. The second thing, is I want you guys to come and, and, and before even thinking about solutions to whatever problems we have, is, is coming to a place of lamenting and mourning. Mourn for those who are actually in pain at this very moment. Mourn for those who have experienced pain or going through pain or hurting at this time, wherever it be. And, and I'm not talking about mourning by uh, signaling on your social media and stuff like that, but I'm talking about going to your corner of your room, you before God, arms open, and just mourn. Mourn for the stories you've heard. Mourn for the lives you've seen lost. Mourn for the brutality you're, 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 you're facing. Mourn for those who are hurting. Mourn for those who are crying. Right? The Bible calls us to mourn for those who mourn. And so let's come alongside that. If you have a friend that you would come, before even offering solutions or answers, just to sit and mourn and lament. Right? Let's pray for that for the heart to be there, that I can mourn for the pain that's, that, that is ensuing all around me. Um, and thirdly, thirdly, let's pray to the Lord that, God, would you make justice a lifestyle for me? Right? That justice is not just a, an elective that I have in the church. Whenever something big comes up, I'll pick it up. But that justice is actually the core curriculum of our Christendom. As much as Jesus Christ had to die to appease justice through love, how much more do I live my life as a Christian to seek for justice in love? Right? 
the justice is a lifestyle. See, here's the thing about evangelical conservative churches like ours, right? We can easily say, I want the justice of an unborn child. I don't want to see them die, right? I want the justice for an unborn child, but then after that child is born, how many of us go about and say, I want the justice for the life that that child will live in? I want justice to see and flow so that life that the child lives in will flourish and blossom. See, you can't say, I want one type of justice and then negate the other. Justice needs to be our lifestyle. So let's pray for that as well. Okay? So just three things today. Pray against the spirit of self-righteousness. Repent if that's in your heart. Right? Lament and mourn for those who are in pain, those who are hurting. Don't try to justify or tell people why this is bad, but just you yourself. Come to a place where you can mourn for the hurts. And thirdly, that justice will be my lifestyle. That justice will be not just uh, a piece of an a la carte that I pick up and enjoy here and there, but it will be the very breath of my life. Church, I love you. I will see you Sunday, 1230. Um, have a good week, guys.